the price. So, so hello, uh, my name is Lou Solace Haven, and this is What Is To Be Done on Rage and Revolution. This is a podcast that is recorded um, in connection with the Centre for Sustainability, Equality and Climate Action at Queen's University in Belfast. Today, I am absolutely delighted to be joined by an 18-year-old climate activist called Laura Muwanganzi from Uganda. How are you, Laura? Hi, how are you, Lou? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, and thank you so much for joining us. So where exactly are you in Uganda? Um, I'm in Kampala, Uganda. Kampala. And I, um, on Twitter, I've noticed that there's a lot of, there's a lot of, quite a lot of climate activists in Kampala. Because it is, it is the capital city of Uganda, so that's where most people are designated. Yes. Yes. And how long, Laura, have you been a climate activist? Um, I started my activism in 2020, early 2020 in February. So I've been a climate activist for three years now. You've been a climate activist for three years now? Yes. So how old were you when you started your activism? I was 15 years. 15 years old. Yes. Wow. Very young, isn't it? <laughs> Probably, kind of. And what led you to become a climate activist? Well, I was inspired by Vanessa Nakache and Greta Thunberg, but I was also, I got very passionate about the, the climate. Personally, after witnessing floods and other deadly impacts of the ecological, that displaced and killed very many people that led to loss of property as well as shortage of food. So looking at all this, I felt that we were at an emergency and something had to be done. So I looked at myself and I'm like, I have to add my voice to fellow activists that are out there so that we can do something for a better future. Okay, so you wanted to do something for a better future. Exactly. Yes, yeah, so what are the, so a lot of the time in um, countries like in Ireland or UK, we are not on the front line of the climate crisis. So what would, what would you, what do you want us in countries that aren't on the front line? What do you think it is important that we do? Um, something that you can do towards the climate crisis. Yes. Well, I feel that countries that are not really experiencing first-hand effects cannot really tell how bad it actually is. So I, for one, that is from the global south. I come from a country that experiences one that experiences fast and climate change effects. Therefore, I feel that developed countries or countries like the UK and I, and is it Ireland or Ireland? Countries like <laughs> countries that like Ireland can help us by implementing most of the laws that they have put into position. They can help us by fina financing loss and damage in Africa. They can also help us by putting most of the things into action. For example, I'll give an example of um, Germany. Right now, Germany has a crisis that is going on in a, in a village called Lutzereth, whereby they are mining coal. These are people that sit us down and tell us that climate change is very dangerous, but at the end of the day, they are acting out of direction. So we need them to act the right way and to help us implement most of these things because we do not have all the necessities to implement these things. We also need the voices of the Global South activists to be raised, to be amplified so that we can pass on our messages very well to the world. Yes, absolutely. So do you think that the voices of the Global South activists are being amplified? They are, but not really amplified to the to an extent where they have to be heard because these are people that are badly and hardly affected by these effects of climate change, but they are not really heard. 
And if they are hard, the action is not really put into place. All the leaders do is to promise and we do not see anything, but our future is at stake. And most of the activists are youth or with the youth and the generations behind us are the most vulnerable to the climate crisis. That is why we come together to fight for what we deserve. Yes, to fight for what you deserve. Yes. Because it sounds to me like you're very, very knowledgeable. You're very well educated. On Thank the you. Crisis. Um, but it must be quite, it must be quite scary or it might be, it must be very disappointing at times that, that the elders or, or world leaders or more developed countries aren't doing enough. Well, it is not just scary, but um, I can feel that my future is being threatened. Because for example, in my country, trees are cut down every single day. Even as I speak right now, someone is in a forest cutting down trees. And every, every time we speak, we are not heard, but it would be very sad for me to give birth to a child and I'll have to take them to a museum to see a tree. Yet these are things that really need to be given to everyone. But it is very sad that we are not really allowed to even defend what we have. And in the end, we are going to be affected. So, so you're watching, you're, so it sounds like you're watching a lot of like ecocide, they say, or cutting down of lots of trees. So the nature yes. that is there is not respected or valued. Exactly. It's more of looked at a resource for money. Yeah, which is which is really not okay. Yeah. So, what do you think that people are, or you think a lot of the countries in all over the world they're valuing the wrong thing? Yes, because they are not protecting the only planet that we have. It well, will we live? Where with the current generation live and the future generations? We'll have no place to live. Yes. Laura, can you hear me? Laura, can you hear me? So we've got some connectivity issues. Let me see if that. Can you hear me, Laura? Um, hello, hello, you want to turn off, can you turn off your camera and see if that works, Laura? Hello, 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 you're back, yay. I'm so sorry, I have a very poor network. No, that's completely okay, and that's, you know, it's, that's, that's part of this game, this is what it's like, we're, you know, we're trying to work with what we've got, but Laura, there, this, these are really good um, answers, and it's really, really, um, it's really great to hear what you have to say, but I want to make sure that you have you you get to you know say everything that you're important to say. So I'd love to hear a bit more about you know the laws and the different things you think that we could be doing to help protect your future more. So I don't. Uh, what, what do you think we could be doing 
to help protect your future more those who are on the front line and especially the younger generations what do you want to see us do like in other countries can you hear me can you hear me now oh i'm gone oh 